वेलकम एवरीवन टू तेजस्विनी एंड तेजस्विनी इज टैरो सो इट्स टाइम फॉर द एनर्जी गाइडेंस फॉर दिस वीक सो लास्ट वीक वाज द फुल मून एंड अलोंग विद दिस मून केम वेरी ट्रांसफॉर्मिंग वेरी इंटेंस एनर्जीज हाई फ्रीक्वेंसी एनर्जीज व्हिच आर स्टिल बीइंग फेल्ट एंड व्हिच sort of uh, escalated over the weekend and even today they are hello kanchan how are you and uh, it, 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 they are being felt as quite strong and and expected to continue today tomorrow and perhaps till the end of this month and then from the 1st of november which is a brand new month we would be seeing uh, a new energy cycle and uh, a transformational energies again which is which would give us an opportunity to uh, to change things or shift uh, the energies of the situations which have been shown to us over these days so the card which i have picked up uh is from the osho zen tarot deck and it is once again a card which i picked up during the dashera week so it's it's it 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 reflects uh what is going coming again it is uh, it shows a past baggage you can see here written clinging to the past and it shows this hold this huge baggage of past uh issues past memories things cropping up popping up from uh buried inside us and which are now surfacing and revealing themselves so it's it's the past which is going to be coming up for resolution over the next few days till we start the new energy cycle so uh it's revisiting the past and uh repeats will be happening and why these things are coming up again and again is because they are looking for resolution and they need to be addressed and why they are repeated is perhaps because we are we need to do something else to change the energies what we have been doing in the past may not be right or may not be suitable so time to do something differently now be more empowered step into our powers and it could also mean being more connected to ourselves being more self aware being more truthful honest in addressing our issues and setting up our intentions strongly and taking actions which are in line with the intentions and yes maybe use our communication abilities communicate well resolve that resolve those issues with interaction and positive communication mutual understanding and uh discussion also along with the these memories or these old stuff coming up see this stuff may be from our present life which is maybe from our childhood or from the life that we have left behind or it may be pertaining to our earlier life so very strong chance that these issues are going to crop up and they will we will be forced to face them and resolve them so i would also like to talk about something which is related to these issues coming up and these these are called uh, soul wounds or psychic wounds and these are actually the uh, any past trauma which we may have faced either in this life or in our past lives it it uh, leaves an energy imprint it leaves a mark it is it leaves an energy signature and it will leave its mark on the 
in the location or in the place in our body where it was the impact was first felt so it is like with these new energies coming up and these new transformational high frequency downloads happening what is happening is that these wounds which we are storing in our energy body it's not on our physical body it's in our it's part of our energy body so these are the wounds which are getting triggered and i can see it happening in many people and uh, we we are not understanding what it is and it is felt as a physical pain and it is related to the trauma which was faced earlier so it is some issue of the past which is felt physically for instance if i get a pain here a, a, a strong pain here this may be related to a, a huge separation trauma may be have may have happened in this life or may have happened in a past life but these are all coming up these are being that wound is again being felt now as a physical pain so it's a psychological wound an energy wound a soul wound which is getting triggered and which need to be addressed and yes we need to feel that whatever is coming fully feel it in our body fully first step is feeling it fully in our body and then being compassionate with ourselves taking care trying to understand what is the emotion behind it feeling that emotion fully and then trying to release it through we can we have lot of self care methods which may be spiritual methods non spiritual so called you can be you can do it through any kind of self care practices so this is the time when uh, all this is happening in uh, it's it's being felt by many people and it may be felt differently by different people so revisiting of the past feeling these psychic wounds and then as the new energies come in from november 1 the, the diwali energies the prosperity window is going to open from november 1 and we have a new energy cycle and we also get an opportunity to shift the these patterns which i have been talking about of the past these past patterns uh, whatever has been shown to us we can shift those patterns with the new energy cycle and make changes in our life so new beginnings from november 1 new energy cycle new pathways will be shown to us new opportunities to resolve old issues so a new potential lies in front of us only we have to avail that and bring about the transformation which is required for our highest good and we at tejaswini we would be uh, ushering in these beautiful energies of november and the diwali energies mahalakshmi the energies of goddess mahalakshmi of abundance and prosperity and wealth and we are ushering it with a diwali prosperity workshop on whatsapp and this would be a 3 day window from november 1 to november 3 and it's it's going to be open 24 hours into 3 days so it's 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 on the whatsapp platform and we would be learning uh, various ways methods techniques tips to invite the energies of mahalakshmi of abundance of prosperity into our lives so ways methods tips techniques which would be delivered through customized videos which have been made specially for this purpose and which uh, through exercises which would help us change our own beliefs and inner blocks related to prosperity money abundance so an interesting workshop powerful workshop particularly because it is being held at this time when the these energies are very strong and 
they're already there around us. So we only have to take and be receptive and do certain things which may help us to tune into these energies. It's tuning in which is required. Tuning in and then taking action. So we'll be learning how to do that in this workshop. So tomorrow is the last day to register in this workshop. And so please all those who intend to participate and uh, who have not yet registered, please register fast today itself and join this workshop. There is a link for this registration which is given here and you can also inbox WhatsApp to us and register. So enjoy this week. Enjoy the new energies which are coming and take advantage of Tejaswini's Diwali Prosperity Workshop, WhatsApp Workshop window for inviting the energies of money, abundance, prosperity and wealth into our own lives. So you can share this information with your friends and with all those who are looking for this tuning into this money and abundance who may be facing issues, financial issues or issues related to abundance and prosperity. And this would be a wonderful opportunity at this time of the year. Very convenient platform for looking into this aspect of our life. So see you in this workshop and I will also be back next week for our next week's energy guidance. So goodbye for now.